In the contradictory world of the Eurozone, a country can claim to be recovering while many of its people get poorer. Witness Dublin, where there's a mini housing boom, while getting on for 200,000 people have no way of paying their mortgage. Gillian felt the full perverse effects of this when she went bankrupt and lost her home. She says the effects hit her like a truck. I really, really understand what it's like to feel no hope because during those six months, I could barely, I was barely, I was, I was a debt zombie. I, I, I was barely functioning. I, I could hardly put one foot in front of the other. And it was just, it was horrendous, horrendous place to be. Foreign capital seems to be behind the new boom, but it's locals who lose out. The banks have little reason to repossess a home in a depressed market, but when prices rise, people become vulnerable. Peter McVerry was granted the freedom of the city of Dublin a few days ago for his tireless work with the homeless, and he's witnessed this new phenomenon firsthand. The majority of people today who are becoming homeless are ordinary working class and even middle class people who simply can no longer afford to pay for accommodation. And while the new homeless have nowhere to go, huge numbers of these half-built homes where construction stopped when the last property bubble popped sit as reminders of a previous nightmare. So this is most extraordinary situation now that's developed in Ireland where the government says there's not enough housing for property speculators and foreign investors. Homeless campaigners are saying there's a desperate lack of affordable housing for the dispossessed and the poor and yet there are thousands and thousands of empty, unoccupied homes like this all over Ireland, which apparently nobody wants. Never again, the Irish government has said over and over, will it repeat the mistakes of the past, which destroyed so much. So is that no longer true? We do not and, and never will again get to a situation where it's the property owners and the, and the developers who lead in terms of where we build houses. It will be about the community, not about the developers. In the contradictory world of the Eurozone, recapitalised banks can refuse to lend to Irish citizens, while foreign speculators inflate the housing market and leave properties unaffordable. The question is whether the government can stop all this from happening all over again. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Dublin.